What's up guys? This is Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Elite. Uh, I want to do a quick review video on the Elite Arion Digital Smart B Plus trainer that I just got. It's actually a roller trainer. No one needs to correct me on that. I know the difference. Um, I actually started with a regular trainer. Uh, I ordered it through the Zwift app and thought it was the greatest thing ever. Didn't fit my, uh, my Cannondale CX bike that I have. Um, it also, as soon as I went to tighten the tensioner knob in the back, it actually snapped off. So I ended up returning that, uh, did some research. I live in the city, so getting out on a fat bike isn't really an option. I need something to keep my attention. I'm not exactly a guy that wants to sit on a trainer all the time. Uh, I get kind of bored easily. But I also wanted to test out the rollers. I heard that they were challenging. I heard that, you know, they use your, your core as well as, you know, all of your muscles at once instead of just using your legs. So I thought that'd be more fun. And honestly, once it's warm enough, above 30 degrees I'll be back out riding so uh, the roller itself it kind of looks cheesy to be honest I mean it looks like it's a cheap plastic but it's actually pretty sturdy uh, it has parabolic rollers which means that basically it has this little lip on the end so as you're riding and sliding back and forth if you lose a little bounce it kind of bounces you back in so you don't fall off uh, the rollers they actually look like plastic um, but they are made out of a resin, so they say it's much stronger than a plastic. You don't have to worry about it cracking or anything like that. Um, but just a really good, I know it looks kind of like, again, like cheap plastic rollers, but they're not. They're actually really solid, super smooth, uh, way more durable than any plastic you're going to find. So another great feature of this roller. Um, it does adjust according to the size of any bike, so all you do is, is measure the points between your two axes there, your two axles, um, and then you'll actually measure it out between these two rollers here, and then right to this point, then what, all you have to do is literally take out a couple bolts that are in here with an Allen key, uh, slide this back and forth so that your axle sits either directly on top or a little behind the roller, which is great. It'll pretty much fit uh, any bike that you need. It is the only um, smart roller on the market. Basically what that means is that you can you know, use your regular, all I needed to use was a, a ant dongle, which is basically just a little piece here that transfers a signal, and that transfers a signal back and forth between my Mac, and then all you need to do, start riding, hook it up to your favorite app, and it'll adjust to your resistance, and it calculates cadence and all of that, which is great. Um, one thing to note about this, even though it is kind of big and oafy, you can actually fold this right up, which is pretty great. Uh, so all you need to do is literally take the trainer, fold right up just like that, just make sure that you don't crush your fingers in the process, um, and then you have this, you can kind of shove it in a corner, put it wherever you want. Um, underneath the roller, you'll see that I do have these mats here, it's basically just one of those foam walking mats, uh, the roller did slide a little bit on the hardwood floor. So all I did was take one of these mats, cut another one in half, make it long enough. That way it's a nice, still stiff surface. Um, but you know, it won't slide around on you as much. When you want to set it up, literally all you have to do, put one end down, make sure it's lined up. Line up your tension cable there. And then just lay it flat. Make sure all eight points of contact are on the same nice level surface uh, and you should be good to go. So that works pretty well, pretty easy setup. Um, you know, another great thing about this is it kind of has these little steps that you can stand on. So if you want to step on and off the trainer, that works great. Uh, as far as the bike, all you really need are a couple trainer tires. So these are just a nice, kind of like a cheap road tire. Uh, nice and flat, that way you won't have any bumpiness on the trainer or anything like that, um, which is pretty great. Now there is, you know, the one issue that they say the trainer has is uh, essentially at, at higher RPMs or the faster you're going, the power accuracy can get a little off. To me it's not the biggest deal as long as I'm on, on Zwift or something and I'm, I'm riding, I'm happy. Um, I've done a few workouts on it. Super smooth, super quiet. I'll play some footage so you guys can see you know, when it's in full axis and running. Um, but overall, I'm really happy. It's a ton of fun. Uh, it only takes a few minutes to learn. I'll show you guys kind of how the roller works, how simple it really is once you get the hang of it. Uh, I was a little nervous at first. I said it took me five or ten minutes 
to really get used to it and to get up there and, and pedaling. You know, when you start, basically, you know, I like to just have a wall next to me. Some people say a doorway works well. Um, and as you slowly start pedaling, you'll kind of get the feel for it. I mean, it's essentially like riding on ice. So you'll see how the bike kind of wants to swerve back and forth. But once you get used to it and get your momentum, you can slowly start to let yourself off the wall. And then you just got to get comfortable. Uh, it's going to slide around a bit. You know, you can kind of swerve back and forth. Again, you have those parabolic rollers which give you an edge so if you, you slide off a little bit it usually bounces you back um, you can fall off a little bit but it's a full body I mean you got to keep your attention if you don't keep moving if you don't keep that momentum you're gonna go flying off or you're gonna stop but I mean you can really get the thing cranking obviously it has the program pull resistance from any app um, but as you just kind of play through your gears, I mean, you can really get it moving. Once you get the hang of it, it's really, it's not that big of a deal. Get comfortable up there. I got my little uh, water bottle mounted over here. I don't feel like reaching down. Try to get a water bottle off the bike, so. And then once you're done with your workout, all you gotta do is slow down, unclip, and you can just step right off. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. Keep riding.